Hello everyone, this is Sander with a video about the Insert Moves feature in Katray. Have you ever had a situation in a game where both players have ignored an important exchange or life and death situation for a large number of moves? What often happens is that the AI move recommendation for maybe 50 or 100 moves in a row is for both players to play there. However, after a few moves you realize this and you would really like to know Alright, if we had already taken this exchange, would my other move be the best or good enough move left on the board? And normal AI tools don't really allow you to answer that question very easily. One of the uses of this insert moves feature is to do exactly that. So if you take this situation, after black captures this stone, there is a issue here where black can threaten to connect Incente and get a few extra points, and White can threaten to come under Incente and prevent those extra points. Even though the move is not very big, it is Sente for both players, so I would always want this exchange before any other on the board. If we try to review the game, we can see that there's many yellow moves and red moves, and basically the guy is saying, you are losing two to four points by not playing here, which we know after a while, but 50 moves in a row is not really what we want to see here. So we can have a look at what eventually happens here. You see white comes under, black backs off, white takes the Atari, and black captures the stone. Now we go back to the earliest opportunity. For example here, we hit insert move, which starts a special mode in which you cannot navigate anywhere only insert some exchanges. So we know this happened and we don't care about how optimal this is, we just want to have these exchanges in the game and we go back and hit insert a second time or hit the I key. Now the game is analyzed in this new branch is created where all the moves except this exchange are copied. Now we can look at our moves and consider that most of them seem to be dark green or almost optimal and this move was a minus two point move instead of a minus four point move. And that's all very useful information. There is two more opportunities in the game I'd like to show. At this point white plays away but could have taken this sequence to simply capture this group. And this is of course quite disastrous and the AI will recommend consistently for both players to play here until somebody does. Eventually black plays here and white does not respond locally because the issue is gone. So one thing we can do is insert only the black move and make white get two moves in a row later on. This is possible with inserting moves, however it is often not very satisfying. Um, what we can see here is the next white move was here at J11, which seems a reasonable move to move forward. So let's have a look. We'd like back to play here now. And we'll take this and insert again. And again, all the moves are copied and analyzed. And the game proceeds. And you can see in the game a fight starts around this group. And eventually black connects up. However, neither player realizes that here is a vital point which can be used to cut the group off uh, to cut the group off and kill the stones and this is ignored again for about 50 moves until eventually white takes the push and black blocks in end game so let's go to the earliest opportunity here again after this is settled there are some center exchanges here, and you can see why you should take this move. So again, we hit I, take this exchange, and hit I, and we get the next 99 moves. And if you ever want to move these branches back up, you can make it the main branch, which you have to do by simply hitting page up. And this makes navigation a bit easier. And here we can see that, again, the moves for the players look a lot more reasonable and you don't end up with every move being considered a 20 point loss or something ridiculous like that. All right, I hope 
this video was useful and it will help you to review your games more effectively.